Famous Orchard Farms in the Philippines Orchard, as a piece of land planted with fruit trees. Famous, known about by many people. If you get to know the success stories of our country's top orchard growers, you would never imagine how they got to where they are now. Their hard work, determination, and will to succeed is truly worth emulating. Below are three of our successful orchard growers. 1. Jose Mercado 2. Edith Dakaka 3. Philip Cruz 4. Jose Mercado, Merlo Agricultural Corporation, he is one of the successful orchard growers in Luzon. He grows and sells coffee beans for three brands of coffee popular in the market, Batangas Brew, Café de Lipa and Capping Baraco. Edith Dakaka Rifmad Farms, she owns the largest dragon fruit farm in the Philippines, located in Ilocos Norte. She distributes dragon fruit here in the country and also abroad. She also utilizes zero-waste farming practices. Philip Cruz Herbinext, he owns one of the largest local sources of herbal extracts. He established the pioneer herbal extract manufacturer in the Philippines, and is now exporting herbal extracts in other countries. With that, he is also among the list of famous orchard growers in the Philippines. Parasui, Live Green International, he produces organic vegetables, and is now distributing fresh organic products across 18 outlets of famous malls and establishments in the country. Senan Bacani, La Forda Incorporated. He is one of the famous orchard growers in the Philippines. He owns vast lands of banana plantation. He produces 5 to 6 million boxes of Cavendish bananas and exports these to Middle East and other countries in Asia. Famous Orchard Farms in the country. Rosa Farms is a 12.5 hectare mango orchard in the coastal province of Zambales, home of the Philippine Carabao Mango. The property was purchased in 1920 by David Jackson and Rosa McSaisai. When Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991 the whole place was buried in ash, leaving only a few surviving mango trees. David and Rosa's grandchildren faced the devastation with resilient spirit. They rehabilitated and developed the farm into a mango orchard. By 2011, the farm was renamed as Rosa Farms under the management of Ding and Nelda Zuluda. Today it is not just an ordinary mango orchard but an agritourism destination, as well as a venue for team building, and corporate events, camping and family outing, educational tours rest and recreation. Rock Farm at Cafe Bodega, an orange plantation in Stanton Road, Sagada, Mountain Province. Pick and pay with entrance fee of P50 you can eat as much as you want inside the farm. Philippine Mango Seedling Farm Corporation a family-owned and operated agricultural enterprise situated in the border of Candaba, Pampanga, and Bailoag, Bulacan. The company was established mainly for three objectives. One environment preservation through youth education. Two strengthen of the mango industry by ensuring the constant and sustainable supply of mango produce. And three livelihood enhancement through corporate involvement by promoting mango farming. Davao Golden Pomelo Farm, Davao City. Hailed as Davao's Pomelo King, Carmelito Mercado is possibly the top pomelo producer and distributor in the Philippines. From his humble beginning as a trader, Mercado's determination and thirst for knowledge to improve his business has bare fruit. What started as a 1-hectare lease has now expanded to the 350-hectare Davao Golden Pomelo Farm that Mercado owns. It produces the Magallanes variety the preferred variety of Filipinos for its sweet pink flesh. The oldest trees in the farm are 17 years old and can bore as much as 600 kilograms per plant. Nika's Rambudan Farm, Barangay Lapas, Tibo Antique. Nika's Farm is the biggest green Rambudan farm located in Barangay Lapas, Tibo Antique. The farm was named after the youngest daughter of the owner. Aside from the green and red Rambudan, you'll also find bananas, durian lanzones, mangosteen, pomelo and other fruits. The Rambudan tree belongs to a group of fruit-bearing tropical trees like longan and lychee. The name Rambudan came from an Indonesian name Ramba, which means hair. At Obelan's farm is in Barangay San Juan, San Pablo City, Laguna. It started in 1987 with an initial capital of PHP 700.00. With his hard work and exceptional diligence, Mr. Addo was able to grow his farm from a 200 square meter lot to 2.3 hectares of land and continued to expand years hence. To date the farm covers more than 15 hectares, which are planted with 2,000 plus trees each of Rambudan, Lanzones, Durian, and Papaya. The farm is also lined up with 800 aromatic coconuts. To maximize productivity, 
These high-value crops are intercropped with vegetables and condiments such as black pepper from India. Rasik Coco Farms is located in the Baguio district of Davao City in the southern Philippines at his own and managed by Mr. Grover Rasik. Before, he was working full-time as a postman earning a moderate wage as a government employee of the Philippines Postal Corporation. His wife also earned an average income working as a teacher and he could only dream of ways to supplement the family's earnings to one day send his six young children to university. With a passion for plants and gardening, he used his wife's small family plot to dabble in farming. Today he operates the Rasik Coco Farms in the Baguio district of Davao City in the southern Philippines. Mr. Rasik now earns 50 times his postman's salary and has paid for all of his children's education.